The question says two cells of EMF E1 is equal to 8 volt and E2 is equal to 4 volt with internal resistances 1 and 2 ohm respectively are connected so that they oppose each other. That means the connection should be something like this. This will be E1, this will be E2, this will be internal resistance R1, this will be internal resistance R2. E1 is given as 8 volt, E2 is given as 4 volt, R1 is given as 1 ohm, R2 is given as 2 ohm. This is the data given. Further they say, this combination of cells is connected to an external resistance of 5 ohm. So this is connected to 5 ohm. Something like this. Now they are asking you the terminal potential difference across the cell E2. Yes, across the cell E2. This is the cell E2. And this is the cell E1. So basically they are asking us to find the value of V2. Now one thing you need to understand that when the two cells are in series and they are in opposing mode, definitely one of them with a greater EMF will get charged, sorry, will get discharged and the one with the, the smaller EMF will get charged. Please remember this. So I can say since over here E1 is greater than E2, I can say E1 will undergo discharging and E2 will undergo charging. And that means if you want to find V2, it is going to be E2 plus IR. Yes, that is the formula for charging. Generally, the formula is V is equal to E minus IR because generally the V is less than E because generally a cell is used for discharging. But whenever there is a charging concept involved, we can say this minus becomes plus. Okay. Now in this scenario, we already know the value of E2, which is 4 volt. We already know the value of R2, which is 2 ohm. But definitely we want the current I. Now definitely for a circuit, I can say I is going to be E equivalent upon R equivalent as the current into R2. This should be the value. So now I can say E2 is nothing but 4 volt plus E equivalent. If you understand, it is going to be the net EMF of the two cells. And since the net EMF is definitely going to be difference between the two because they are opposing each other. So E1 minus E2, that is 8 minus 4, will give us 4. Upon, the R equivalent is the total resistance of the circuit. And here, all the three resistances are in series. So we have 1 plus 2 plus 5, and that is 8 ohm. Into, definitely R2, the value is 2. So now I can say 4 into 2, 8. 8 and 8 gets cancelled. We are left with 1. So 4 plus 1, the answer is going to be 5 volt as the terminal potential difference across E2.